Miracle Workers. Miracle Workers, Miracle Actors. And Miracle Birds. We have tried to uh, have a team uh, suitable for this special note on actors. <laughs> being foolish here, facetious, um, as is that line in um, in one of the episodes in uh, the Two and a Half Men, there's uh, Alan waiting at the long queue, uh, office agency for what, for driving licenses or something, and he has next to him a fellow an actor that I've seen in Mad Men and my friend, oh, go ahead or something really? and he said I was just being facetious um, so <clears throat> Steve Buscemi has got well that's that's a pretty good show that's something you should see uh, and <laughs> yes, he is very disinvolved, very at uh, ease, very, very good, and, and something that uh, comes naturally to him. As in, he's not really um, pretentious. Pretentious, no? That's something else from um, 40 Towers. And that's just the shortest joke I know. It's just two words. Pretentious, no? Because it has the absurdity within it. Of course, pretentious. Am I pretentious? But when I say moi, <laughs> well, yeah, I think you are. I am. Okay, so, um, no, he's, he's not arrogant. Steve Bushin is he's perfect. That's, uh, come to think of it, that's, that's a performance that makes you believe. Well, it, it, plausible. It, it, can, it can be like that. Of course, this kind is flawed, it's, it's different, it's human, it's comedy role. But then, um, I feel closer to this, uh, to the Almighty, as painted, presented, portrayed by Steve Buscemi, than to the guy who of the Old Testament, for instance, uh, uh, the angry one, the one who says, uh, kill, kill all those, mm, the macrobats, I'm just making this up, I, I don't know uh, who is the target, but still, uh, he is replaced, of course, by I terminal not some poche by uh, another figure uh, gentle uh, gentle <laughs> you may decent side to things in, in the New Testament. But let's get out of that because that's not... Um, <laughs> a subject I can talk of if I can talk of anything. Uh, and try and say, I, again, I'm convinced. I, I, I enjoy it. Steve Buscemi, well, anything. Fargo to Reservoir Dogs. I think it's in a way a pity that, well, first of all, he doesn't get spectacular roles uh, as much as he should, which is continuously. And then he was discovered late. Or am I wrong? In Reservoir Dogs was the launch pad. Right? And he was already. In his 40s? Oh, he, he's such 
a good artist that he made me think he's 40 something. You know, but then he was only 28, so I'm just beating about the bush. Uh, so let's conclude and say, near the workers, uh, what's like a miracle? Uh, because it's not just him, of course, it's, it's all the cops. You know? With him isolated, uh, it wouldn't really do anything. You need a team. As William Goodman explains in his Adventures in Scripture. A scripture, a book written by God. Speaking of divine creatures, some things.